Okay, my friends, I'm very sorry. I, in my last video, I forgot to include the emails and so forth, but everybody's looking into this. This is NASA, Sugar Space Gum, CBS News. I want to, to report to CBS News about this space gum. There's a bunch of other stuff. YouTube, space gum, space gum, humanprogress.org, space gum, Sci News, space gum. NASA space gum, news space gum, it's everywhere. And I want you to contact people to help me because they will not respond to me. And if you don't help, we are just going to be lost forever. Every bit of chemistry is identical to us that's on menu. They have it completely, there's no difference whatsoever. The RNA, the DNA molecules, and then they found this gum that they can't explain. This is a sample brought back to Earth from Bennu. These right here are little bundles and inside those bundles are these little blocks. They're called sarcomeres. Those bundles have the space gum on them. This is what cardiac muscle looks like. If you look down this way you would just see bundles. Looking down at them, you see the sarcomeres. This is the gum they found. Sarcoplasmic reticulum, all of this webby stuff. And that is what pulls muscles in and out. That's what they found. And the reason is, Bennu is a giant heart in space. It's just what it is. You have to live with the reality of the evidence, and the evidence is overwhelming. Okay, my friends, my mistake, I forgot to include Loretta at Arizona.edu. This is Dante Loretta, who is the principal investigator for the OSIRIS-REx mission. I've tried to contact him a number of times and I've been unsuccessful. I never get any responses. I'm hoping that if you will contact him, if we have enough, if he sees enough, this Loretta at Arizona.edu, just send him an email and contact him and direct him to this extremely short video so showing that uh, that venue, which is the one he was working on, is literally a heart. It's so hard to accept that people just blow it off, but you people know the truth, and he should know the truth, and we should all be able to get the truth from the ones we trust. And he's the one that is, is trust entrusted with giving us the truth. Now, you have to be able to accept the truth when you find it. And that's what I have found does not happen. So this is Loretta at Arizona.edu. There's another one here, um, Brittany Solazano, Solazano Blanco at, at Arizona.edu. Now they're, they're getting the government money, I'm sure, to do all this research, and I see this research is now something that should be understood. Okay, here's a few more emails. This, again, Dante Lorenta, he's the principal investigator. Then we have Don, D Danny, or Donny D'Agustino, assistant professor, planetary sciences. We got media contacts here, a couple of media contacts. Zoom in on those so you can see we got to contact all these people over and over until we get some response. I want you to contact President Trump. Put it on True Social. Put it on all the different media platforms. I'm not good at that kind of stuff. But you need to contact these people. They will not contact me back. So you, if you're going to help, you're going to help. If you're not going to help, all you're here for is just some kind of fun. Okay, please, my friends, I have given you the emails and the rest is up to you. I am, I'm, I'm continuing to do this daily. I'm going to be doing more and more videos about this because these things in space are just spectacular and we have no idea about them We've, and we're being denied the right to investigate them because nobody will respond 
that is responsible for doing the investigations. It's up to you to force this. I'm trying the best I can, but I, I can get nowhere. I am just like pushed off to the side and I have no responses from anyone. You're the one that's going to have to do this.